Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my god, I have not filmed a YouTube video. I think in like a month and I know I've been posting on my YouTube channel but those were like all pre-films like way before I had my breakdown and yes your girl had a breakdown not long ago. I just needed a serious mental break. I needed to be away from social media. I just needed to take a break from my phone and I just needed to like just be present with myself and just figure things out because I felt like I put myself in a situation where I was doing things because I had to do it rather than doing things because I want to do it. So I needed this time off and it just feels so good to finally be back with a clearer mindset and I just want to talk to you guys about where I've been, what I've been up to. This is going to be like a mini make tutorial. I am going to be mostly talking about where I've been and how to like make you feel confident and make you feel comfortable with yourself. So I'm not going to do like a talk through step by step make tutorial but I will mention briefly what I'm doing to my face. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow as a primer. It's really, really nice and, ooh, hello. Little fart, hello. Really glowy, really hydrating as well because my skin has been feeling so dry. I've been exercising in the park, so being in the sun it proper like dehydrated me. So right now I'm like focusing on giving my skin a little boost. So I have been imagining how to film this video for so many years and to finally film it, I don't know, it just kind of feels a little bit weird because I have been thinking about making this video literally almost every night before bed. And that is one of the reasons why I have trouble sleeping because mental health is such a sensitive subject to talk about and it's really hard for me personally to talk about it so openly, especially on my platform because I'm gonna get judged, people are gonna come at me, but I'm at the point where if I don't talk about it with you guys, especially the real ones who are there for me and really care about me, I don't know, I just feel like I'm just not being the real authentic me. And I'm one of those people where I have to be myself in all situations. I have to speak my truth in every situation, even when it's something that's very uncomfortable, I still have to speak my truth. So this is how I really feel. I am getting tired of social media and that is why I have breaks. And I don't know if you guys noticed this the past few years, but I have been literally taking breaks without really saying it so like if i'm quiet on the instagram stories or if i'm not posting you know weeks on tiktok it's because i just need to reset and recover i'm gonna use a fenty beauty spray just gonna hydrate my skin because your mama needs it in a really weird way every time i talk about how i really feel with you guys it kind of feels like therapy to me like i feel like when i speak about it really openly it's like this massive weight just comes off my chest like it just feels so amazing afterwards so i really do appreciate anybody who like does watch this video like you have no idea how much it means to me i'm gonna use the pat mcgrath foundation let me tell you something about this foundation y'all okay listen the other day i did a little photo shoot in my garden and I went ahead and used this foundation and then straight afterwards I couldn't be bothered to take off my makeup so I went out jogging in the park and when I say this foundation stayed on me for like the whole entire hour and a half of me sweating and jogging in the park it stayed on I'm not joking I couldn't believe it so yeah anybody who is looking for a sweat proof long wearing foundation that's lightweight I say check this out I'm gonna use one pump I'm just gonna go ahead and just literally slap it on. <laughs> this foundation is a little bit darker for me, but it's okay because I've got a concealer that will help balance out my skin tone. So I want to kind of break down, you know, why me and a lot of other people could be stressed due to social media. Like social media is such a pressurizing type of career. And sometimes when you work under pressure, it can really get the best of you and you can really like feel burnt out and feel like you no longer love what you do anymore. And at times I do feel like that with social media, which absolutely sucks because when I do have my break, I realize how much I love my career and how much I should appreciate it. But 
You know, the pressure of being on social media can be really difficult because if I don't post something, I feel guilty and I don't know why. If I don't communicate with you guys regularly, I feel guilty and it just, it's just really hard balance of finding time to spend time with you guys and making content and then spending time on me and my family, even though we're in quarantine. You know, people tell me time and time again, balance is key, balance is what makes things healthy. Like, I know, I know, but it's just so hard because social media career you are pretty much doing it a lot of the time on your own like even though I've got Nathan who helps me edit a lot of the time I am doing most of the work by myself and it's so hard to get into the creative mode as well like anybody out there who does like creative content then you know how much time you have to prepare your content before making it some people are blessed they can just make content and they're fine and they're good to go as for me I need to like sit down I need to brainstorm for like a good six seven hours to figure out what to do like it literally took me the whole entire day to figure out what to say in this video because I want to make sure that what I say has some sort of value I want to make sure that I have my points across clearly to you guys and I want to make sure that you guys feel comfortable with me as well when you're watching my videos. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender Concealer. Let me just carry on doing my makeup before I actually forget to do my whole entire makeup. Also by the way guys I've been doing my concealer differently. I've been putting it in the corner of my eyes and then like dragging the concealer above here to really help give me a lift. So one thing that I have learned during lockdown and having my social media break is that I learned that it's okay to slow down even though it's such a challenge because social media is so fast paced and you know I do feel like once you stop posting literally stop as in like stop I don't know I feel like these social media apps will make you kind of like go at the back of the queue no one can see you no one will like recognize you also guys by the way I'm gonna try out the new Fenty Beauty cream product so I've got the cream bronzer here I like to use the shade macchiato I feel like the shade is really good and natural looking on my skin like it's not too red it's not too you know orange or anything and then I'm gonna use this blusher this blusher is so bright but when I put it on my skin and blend it out it comes out all right looking so what I like to do with this cream blush is I like to get my sponge this is the Nikia Joy sponge by the way I like to pick it up and just like stamp it on my face like this is such a quick and easy way to like apply makeup and blending it out because as soon as you put it on it looks really blended anyway and also these cream blushes aren't too pigmented so you can like build your way up which is like my favorite type of makeup I just want to let you guys know that anybody out there who's like wanting to be a influencer who wants to you know do makeup or if you just want to make content just for the sake of it definitely do it I don't want this video to be so negative and I don't want you guys to be put off by my experiences because along with my negative experiences with social media I've had so many positive amazing experiences and I just really wish that I didn't take it for granted like there's been times where I've been given opportunities where I'm like damn why didn't I go hard on that opportunity why didn't I give it my all I don't know I mean I am the type of person where I am really like hard on myself oh super natural bronze oh my god I love it and then with the blusher, I actually like to use the brush instead. So I like to use the Fenty Beauty brush that came with the blusher. And I'm just gonna pick it up and just do a little smile and just blend it on. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's talk about comparing yourself to other people because that is something that is so hard to not do and I have been battling with that for so many years and you know before doing social media as a career I never really compared myself to anyone I was really content with myself like I wasn't super happy with myself but I was like you know oh I'm not that good looking in school it's okay moving on <laughs> you know what I mean now that my career is literally about the way I I look I'm just like shit like ugh, this is a lot of pressure and I don't know how this happened but a year into doing social media slowly I started to compare myself to other people and that comparison unfortunately turned into jealousy and jealousy is such a poisonous thing like I just I'm just so done 
feeling jealous and feeling like I have to be better than that person. Like, it was such a negative mindset. And beginning of this year, I did hire myself a life coach and definitely one of the best things that I have done for my mental health because I have been struggling with self-doubt and self-hatred for about four years now. And I saw Sam, my life coach, beginning of this year, January. So four years before seeing Sam, I had all this pent up, rage with myself and four years is a long time so I'm now like I'm like I don't want to say I'm stuck in my ways because I'm trying to get out of my ways but it's so hard to break that barrier and just be much kinder to myself. Like I remember like logging into Instagram and seeing all these beautiful girls on Instagram thinking, oh my God, I wish I could be that, but I'm not that, you know? Like I don't have the most amazing body and I don't have, you know, the best looking face. And like, I've never had surgery or like filler done or anything like that. And like, sometimes I do feel pressured to get that stuff done because I'm surrounded by pictures and people who has it done. I'm like, oh my God, do I need to do it in order to feel, you know, societally accepted? I don't even know if society is even a word, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. <laughs> gonna fill in my brows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade six. Some people get enhancements done just to be accepted by society and it just really hurts me. And sometimes I feel like I have to get things done just to be accepted by society and in order to get lots of likes and in order to get lots of followers. Like, it's just so crazy how this is like the modern day society now and this is how the world kind of works at the moment. And you do have to be such thick skinned when you are on social media, whether you're an influencer or not. Like I honestly feel like people who are not an influencer when they do log onto social media. Like, I'm really curious, what do you guys think? Like, do you feel pressured as well? Or do you just like not care? I mean, I know everyone's different. So one of the ways to really help me like not feel so jealous is literally by writing it down. Like I have a journal and I've actually spoken about this in my previous video, I think, or maybe like two videos before, I'm not entirely sure. But I have been journaling my feelings. And as soon as I write down, I need to get over this jealousy because it's not healthy for me. And and it's not healthy for my relationship with this person. I let go of this rage and I just look at that person and I look at myself in a different light as well. So anybody out there who feels jealousy, you just, you have to understand that it's okay to feel like you are comparing yourself to other people, but you wanna use that energy in a positive way. So instead of being jealous, you wanna look at that person and be like, oh my God, this girl's hair is so gorgeous. I want to try that hairstyle. I'm going to try and make that hairstyle and let's see how I feel. You know what I mean? Or, oh my God, this is me 24 seven, by the way, guys. Oh my God, this girl's got a flat stomach and obliques and a nice, you know, little six pack that's like not too showy showy, but you know, it's kind of there. I'm just like, you know, I have this natural rage where I'm like, why don't I have it? But instead of being so poisonous towards myself and towards the person, I'm just gonna be like, right, I'm gonna work on myself. I'm gonna use this as inspiration to help me achieve this goal. And you know, it's really important that you be kind to yourself and it's really important that you appreciate what you have. And you know, being jealous of someone does tend to mean that you do really like that person. And in a weird way, there's a chance that you might really love and admire that person. So let yourself know that it's okay to be admired by someone. And that is one of the things that I had is like, you know, some of my friends are doing so well and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not doing very well. I'm like falling behind and I'm so upset. And instead of being jealous of them, I just wanna praise them and continue to be around those people that are doing well because it's gonna make me do well. It's gonna motivate me to work hard and work on myself as well. So yeah, I really hope that advice helped you guys. I had to do the other eyebrow off camera because I can't be having a serious conversation and both eyebrows are looking a bit awkward, but they're looking okay. I'm gonna set them using the Benefit Brow Gel, which I have been using literally all my life, I feel like. So one of the other things that really frustrates me, and I'm pretty sure it frustrates a lot of you guys as well, is that when you make content and you post these content daily and you give it your all and you post them, and social media decides to not let your post be seen by half the people that follows you. 
that really frustrates me like honestly social media is such a weird wonderful place and like it's just confusing and frustrating because no matter how much effort I put into my videos and how much research I do and change up my content there just seems to be no way to grow my accounts anymore like I'm not joking guys like at the beginning when I first started TikTok I was like oh my god TikTok is so amazing like I even made you guys download it and a lot of you guys did download it which by the way thank you so much it goes to show that you're the real one but I just feel like the past couple months whenever I uploaded TikTok like fuck me like they just keep removing my content and I'm just like why it's PGAF like I tried to upload a Spongebob lip sync video and guess what apparently I went against community guidelines I'm just so done I'm honestly confused I'm over it I'm just so done with social media sometimes <laughs> I am raging so much I'm sweating Woo! which makes me want to mention this I have literally learned that I should not take social media so 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 seriously like I am just over it in terms of I am done researching and I am done pushing myself too much when it comes to creating content for these apps because I don't know, a part of me is thinking, why should I make content for an app if the app is not supporting my content? So I'm just like taking it day by day now. Where is my eyeshadow primer? I'm gonna use a Too Faced eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers because I find it blends much better than with a brush. Okay, so I've got one more thing that I just wanna mention about social media, Instagram particularly, is I am sick and tired of going onto my analytics, going into the followers section and seeing how many followers I have lost. I am sick of seeing that minus and I am not the only one who feels like this. I know a lot of my friends hate that little feature on the app, it's annoying. Like seeing that minus, it just really hurts. It kind of feels like someone's like stabbing you a million times. Like, yeah, we're well, unfollowing you, we're well, unfollowing you, we're well, unfollowing you, we don't like your content anymore. Like literally that's the stuff that goes through my head and I shouldn't be thinking like that, but at first glance, that's how I saw it like I literally saw it as a way of oh my god so many people haven't followed me I am trying my hardest to make such nice content for people and I'm just losing loads of followers and there's just no answer to it like some people are saying that it's robot account some people are saying that you know people are doing the unfollow follow thing and it's just really frustrating so I'm just trying my best to accept it and move on and just know that this can only make me feel stronger, which I know sounds so crazy because I'm, I'm literally complaining over a social media app and it's just so stupid when you think about it. Like it's honestly annoying. Like there's a coronavirus and there's people dying and I'm complaining about social media app. Like there is something mentally wrong with me. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Amrezy palette to do my eyeshadow. I'm gonna dip into Nuyaka. Did I say it right? Nuyaka. Nuyaka. I am gonna go ahead and put powder on my face. I'm gonna do it last because I kind of just want to let this cream makeup kind of just, you know, juice up my skin. So I am physically and mentally done talking about the negatives of social media. I want to talk about the positives now and I just want to let you guys know what else I have been up to to help with these challenges. I have learned with myself that every time I fall down, I do get back up and it's such a cliche thing to say, but when you are feeling miserable with yourself and when you make that 1% effort in making yourself feel better about yourself, you just feel boosted and you just get this really like strong energy immediately to do something with yourself in a positive way. I thought it'd be cute to talk about how to improve on your self-love because this is what this video is all about. This video is all about self-love and this video is all about not giving a fuck about social media, not giving a fuck about what other people think, not giving a fuck about what society thinks as well. Like I know a a lot of you guys feel pressured to look and act a certain way but this video is all about embracing yourself and who you want to be and who you admire to be in the next few years and what goals you want to achieve. I know I've got a young audience as well and I know a lot of young people 
aspire to be really really confident and it's so interesting when people say that because I feel like when you get older you do get confident with age but with me I get confident but then I, I go like I have my moments where I'm not confident. I feel like it's okay to go through those experiences. So if you're an adult like me, like I'm 25, I'm 26 this year. If you feel like you were confident like a year ago and slowly your confidence has just gone down, just know that it's okay. You just got to figure out what is making you feel not so confident. Is it someone in your life maybe? Is it maybe your surroundings, your environment? Is it your job? If so, let's figure out how to fix it. Let's figure out a solution. So I have been reading this really cool book by Vex King. Shout out to Vex Kings because he is honestly such an awesome person. I actually know him. I actually met him before he released his book. How funny is that? And reading his book, one of the things that stood out to me was don't focus on the problem, focus on the solution. So that's what I've been doing the past few weeks is figuring out solutions on how to embrace every each journey that I am on. So my personal example on how to find a solution in such a negative situation is because I'm losing so many followers, like I'm losing thousands of followers on Instagram and I just feel like the best way to embrace it is to talk about it and be okay to talk about it. And instead of figuring out how to gain followers, I'm just focusing on the people who are here for me now. And that is how I am switching my negative mindset into a positive mindset. And it's been so helpful. Like ever since I figured out, you know, how can I communicate with my followers more? How can I make content that's more meaningful for them? How can I, how can we connect as a community rather than me just posting tutorials and that's it, goodbye, I'm gone. Like, I don't wanna be that. I wanna be the type of person where I make content for you guys and you feel something that you feel good about yourself. Like, that is literally my goal. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how to like, I don't know, how to make this community like stronger in terms of, not making it bigger just for us to be together and feel more loved. I would love to know, like I'm thinking to do a Zoom call where I have a bunch of you guys and we just do like maybe like a cute skincare routine. Um, I want my life coach to be involved in the Zoom call as well, yes sis. And you know, she does like yoga as well, which is awesome. So maybe we can do like a cute yoga session together or something, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know your opinions and your feedback. And I feel like the people who watch my YouTube are like, the ones who literally dedicate their time for me, which is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I actually need to put powder on because these pores, they're kind of annoying me. I'm gonna use a Bare Minerals powder and it is so fine and I am literally loving it so much. Like it just helps take away the oiliness and it does set her and I feel like this is one of the reasons why my foundation lasted literally all day the other day when I went out jogging was this powder because it's not heavy it's really lightweight I'm gonna use the shade Barb because I need some pink in my life can never ever get bored of pink such a beautiful color are you kidding me that's so pretty I love it I feel like I should have added a base color though let me just go ahead and just mix and match and see what I can do here so I'm mixing cupcake and Barb's because I feel like New Yorker, shall I say, is not really complimenting with barbs. I kind of need to like darken it up a little bit maybe. I'm gonna use this shade 1988 and I'm just gonna put it above barbs and it just deepen my crease a little bit. I honestly have no idea what type of look I wanted to do. I mean, I had an idea, but you know when you have an idea and you're just like, mm, that could work maybe, but I'm just gonna like run with it and just improvise. This, this, is, this is what's happening right now. I got a few cute tips that could help help with improving your mental health but but I just want to let you all know I'm not a professional I'm just a normal woman who's trying to love herself so yeah I really do hope that the tips does help to a certain extent and I feel like one of the main things that really has helped me get by is finding a hobby and right now I feel like fitness is like a really healthy hobby for me like I got myself a Fitbit so that way I can track you know how many steps I'm doing and you know when I go out and exercise I can see you know what my heart rate is like how many calories I burn and everything fitness has been really helpful because I feel like every time I set myself like a small little fitness goal and I achieve it I just feel so proud of myself and just so like inspired to carry on doing what I'm doing so like if, for example I'll go out for a half an hour walk the next day I'll be like okay let's go out for a 40 minute walk 
walk and I achieved it let's go out for a 15 minute walk let's go out for an hour let's go out for an hour and ten and like it's just so nice to have a goal for yourself and you accomplish it yourself like you just feel so empowered and that is something that we all need to do in order to help love ourselves more is making ourselves feel empowered by setting ourselves little goals that are achievable. I used to set myself goals that were ridiculously high, ridiculously unachievable, and it put me in such a miserable situation. And I'm so glad that I have supporters that brings me down to reality and lets me know that you need to slow down, pace yourself, obviously dream big, but when it comes to goals, have them a little bit smaller, that way you can achieve them. I am dipping into Cupcake just to help deepen this cut crease. This is like the laziest cut crease I've ever done in my life. I usually do use concealer just to help, you know, cut it, but I mean, you just can't be bothered. You just wanna use a little bit of shimmer eyeshadow and just look like you're doing a cut crease when really you're not. So I thought I'd speed up this tutorial because I am yapping on for so long. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my waterline. I'm gonna use a smash box pencil. This is the black one. And I'm just gonna fill that in. I'm gonna buff out the black liner with New Yorker. Okay, that is not working. So instead I'm going to use 1988 and buff that out instead. Finally done with the eyes. Gonna move on to the face. So I'm going to use two highlighters. This is such an OG highlighter. I'm going to use the Iconic London Illuminator and then the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. And then once I've spread it, I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge to blend it out. And then don't be afraid to blend the makeup into your hairline because that's how you get like a seamless blend. Yes! Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh yeah. It's like a topper. Oh yeah. For the lips, I'm gonna use a MAC lip liner in Strip Down. And then the Too Faced Lipstick in Strip Search. And my favorite lip gloss by Morphe, Boss Tycoon. This lip gloss is so bomb. Oh my God. Proper like gives you like, you know them sexy stripper lips. <laughs> It's just such a nice goldy nude. And then to set everything using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Mist. And this is the end of the look, guys. I really hope you like it. It's so nice to just finally be back and just talk to you guys on a real personal level. Like, I feel like this is something that I don't do enough. Like, even though I did vlogs in the past and, you know, even though I share some parts of my personal life on my YouTube, I do share more personal stuff on my Instagram, but I feel like YouTube, I can really sit down and talk about certain things in detail. Like, it's just so good to just make this video finally like I cannot tell you how many years I have been imagining me filming this video and now I've done it and I did a pretty good job as well with my makeup whilst talking about something so sensitive and quite emotional. I am trying to figure out what to do with my channel because I'm trying to figure out what days to post and I don't know. I feel like every Sunday I can post but in terms of throughout the week I don't think I can commit to posting twice a week right now because I really want to prioritize my mental and physical health like the only way I can really make myself truly happy is by working on me and my self-love and anybody out there who has a lot of insecurities knows how much of a battle it is to be fully fully confident and believe in yourself at all times like it's not easy and I'm just I don't know I just feel so bad because I can't commit and even though I did my break which was like a really scary thing it was much needed but now that I am back you know I did a lot of questioning and I don't think I'm going to be pursuing YouTube any longer to be honest with you guys I mean I will continue to do it but I don't think I'll be one of those YouTubers that will post twice a week or three times a week for five straight years, you know? I just don't think that's realistic enough for me. As always, I will be posting on Instagram regularly because that is like my main platform. That's like the one platform that I started off with. In terms of TikTok, I need to have a conversation with them because they are really pissing me off. I am posting on TikTok, but TikTok is one of those platforms where, I don't know, I, I don't know. Can can you get a really, can, can you get a connection with people on TikTok? I don't know, it's more for bants for me personally, but yeah, I'm just gonna do my own thing and just see where things go. And if anything changes, of course, I'll let you guys know. If I, if I feel like I wanna have a schedule on YouTube, you're the first people to know, of course 
course. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for listening to me, hearing me vent, talk about problems that not really is a problem. I really hope the way I worded this video has helped you guys. Like it's such a sensitive subject to talk about mental health and insecurities. And it's so awkward because we are in a weird stage in our life of the pandemic as well and i don't want to seem like this is the only problem in the world of course there are many other problems in the world but this is something that i have been battling for so many years and i just really really hope that this video is looked at as a positive video rather than a video where a random girl is just ranting about stupid numbers which basically is i will see you every sunday on my youtube channel i might be posting you know an odd video throughout the week i don't know when or what type of videos i'll be posting but i will let you guys know on my instagram stories of course i love you guys so much and just thank you so much for being by my side like when i came back and spoke to you guys on a personal level on my instagram honestly like i thought i was gonna lose you guys but i didn't and it just made me realize that i have to be here for the people who are here for me now and not focus on gaining new followers so thank you so much for just being here for me and just being my rock and just listening to me <laughs> and accepting me for who I am I think that's like one of the things that us humans really need is acceptance and love and closure so yeah I really do hope the videos I create in the future makes you feel loved and host as well <laughs> I'll see you soon guys bye